Echo GT225 will not start. Have cleaned carb, replaced spark arrestor screen, cleaned the filter over the spark arrestor, new spark plug, new fuel, new fuel filter. I even removed the head to check for scoring on the cylinder walls. Everything is reconnected, including the kill switch. Hello, how are you? Good. Have you checked for spark? Yes, I have a spark. Okay, do you have any starter fluid of carb cleaner in a spray can? Sorry starter fluid or carb cleaner. Yes, I've cleaned everything with it yesterday when I had it all taken apart, I ran out of it, the hardware store doesn't open for an hour. I want you to remove the air filter and spray a little into the carb throat, then try to start the engine and see what happens, that will give a better idea of what's going on. And what direction to send you into next. Another option would be to remove the spark plug and dump about a teaspoon of fuel into the hole, reinstall the plug and wire, then try to start. I ran out of carb cleaner yesterday. Fuel getting into the chamber is not a problem, the primer bulb works just fine, I can flood it with just a few presses. Okay, so after a couple pulls of the starter the plug comes out wet? Typically no. I pressed the bulb twice, tried starting, then removed the spark plug, and it looks like a normal spark plug. The primer bulb does not shoot fuel into the carb or intake of the carb, it only removes air from the fuel system. Really? Then how does the fuel get there? Fuel is drawn on by the vacuum created on the piston's downstroke. Try what I said with the fuel, you can even dump some into the carb if you want. Give the starter a couple pulls and see what it does, if you get no response, try to start it with the throttle held wide open. Nothing. What were the events leading up to this problem? Has the trimmer been in storage for some time? Nope. I use it weekly. Ten days ago I pulled the cord to start it, it wouldn't budge. I looked online, and decided to tear apart the muffler and check out the spark arrestor screen. That screen and the cover over it were clogged. I ordered a new screen, a new exhaust gasket, and manually cleaned the cover thing that goes over the exhaust screen. Since then, I got nothing. Do you have a compression tester? Huh. I'm just a schmo threeing to get his yard cleaned up. Okay, we can cheat. Remove the spark plug and firmly hold your finger over the spark plug hole, give the starter a good pull, the engine should have no problem blowing your finger off. FYI, keep the spark plug wire away from your hand or you'll get bit. It blew my finger off a bit, but it was kinda easy to keep it pressed down most of the way. When I removed my finger there was a little vapor present. If you were able to hold your finger on it, that tells me it has low compression, you can get a cheap compression gauge and test to be sure but my bet is you're going to find the numbers low. That engine needs 120 pounds per square inch to run. Vapors tells me it's getting fuel, and you stated you have spark, that only leaves us with compression being the problem. So it sounds to me like we're talking rings and stuff like that with the labor I might as well go buy a new weed eater which for a four year old weed eater I think in kinda caca. Basically they don't build them to last, the newer trimmers are built as cheaply as possible. 
believe it or not four years is not all that bad. Rebuilding would cost as much if not more than a new one. These things are disposable. If you have a lot of yard I would suggest buying a still or commercial grade unit. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I was afraid of that. Thanks man, you've basically confirmed what I was suspecting all along anyway. I will be sure to rate you as well. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.